Hey guys! So a lot of you have been asking me how I set my hair or wear my hair for when I do my workouts. Um, so I just got prepared to show you guys how that looks like. Um, I just did the pineapple method last night and then I had my um, silk bonnet on this area right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you two ways or three ways that I usually wear um, my hair for when I'm about to work out. So we gotta shake this up a little bit. <laughs> so I have a clip down here I need to take out. So first thing I do, I take off my scarf, shake up my hair a little bit, and then it needs a little life. So I add a little bit of my leave-in that has um, a lot of water in it, so it's gonna give me that moisture. I don't necessarily need to spritz. Um, since I already did that last night. So I apply that to my hair. Get that all over there. Maybe add a little bit more. And that is my um, All Things Au Natural product. Um, it is my Natty Moist in Lemongrass. I have a lot of videos with my Natty products. I love this line. It is my favorite line. So then to go ahead and seal in that moisture, I'm going to add a little bit of my Natty Butter. So for me, when I work out, <clears throat> I tend to bring my hair forward just because I tend to sweat back here a lot. So to prevent that from affecting any definition I have, um, I tend to bring my hair forward. So that's what I'm gonna do. Here's my little hair tie here, very stretched. <laughs> oh, a tip for these when you just buy these, if you put them on the back of a chair, um, I know they're super tight when you first get them, um, and they can be highly uncomfortable if you put them in your hair right when you purchase them. So what I do, I um, put it on the back of a chair for a day and stretch them out that way. That really helps me and prevents those migraines. You know those migraines when your hair is way too tight. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it prevents me from doing that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring all my hair to the front like this after I apply all the moisture. Then I'm going to grab each side, gather it all together, grab my hair tie, like this, and put it around twice. Once I do that, I usually go ahead and fold it over like this and add a bobby pin. So I go ahead and I add that bobby pin right here. Um, add it to the back. Two is usually enough for me. Um, the way that I roll the hair, two is usually a good amount. And yeah, there we go. Um, that's what it looks like. And then if I turn around real quick, show you the back. It's all the way up here, so if I sweat here, I don't have to worry about it. Um, all that definition that I have is brought all the way up to the top here, so it won't get um, affected. So that's the first way that I do my hair for working out. Now, another way that I do it, and this all depends on, you know, just how late I am <laughs> with starting my workout. But if I don't have the time to do all of that, or if my hair is um, twisted up, not necessarily out like it is now, um, then I would definitely just bring it to a puff. Um, so again, I got my hair tied, tied around twice around my neck. Bring it up here and bring it up a little, not as much as last time, but up and then bring this back. And there we go. 
have that puff for when I work out. And um, if I'm going for a run, then I would apply my headband right here. Again, so if I sweat, just to stop that from rolling all the way down my neck. Just a little gross. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you guys know how working out is. Um, that's the point, right? To sweat. So, yeah, so I would do my hair in a puff like that um, as an option, as another option. One doesn't trump the other one. Um, I would say with the puff is mostly when I'm going for a run because um, I know I'm going to wear that headband here. And, yeah, it's perfect for me for when I go for a run. And um, the bun, I would say when I do um, my Pilates or yoga type workouts, that works best for me because you're laying on the mat and if your hair was out like this, um, it wouldn't be so good for your hair for the ends to be touching the mat that much. So tucking in that hair and putting it in that top mat bun right there um, is the easiest way to do that. Now the third way I can't technically show you because my hair isn't twisted up right now. That's actually my task today. I need to do that. <laughs> But um, the third way is if my hair is already twisted from the night before, then I would just gather it in a bun, a, a like midway bun like this, um, midway through. Um, and then after that, I would just tuck in, roll those, um, roll those twists over, and then use that bobby pin to hold them, and then just work out like that. Um, so that's how I wear my hair for working out. Super easy. Those are my three ways for putting my hair, getting my hair together for a workout. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, you can just leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.